From all the possible probability distributions, one stands out because it's the distribution that is encountered very frequently. It's called, very appropriately, the normal distribution function. In this video, I'll explain its most important properties. The normal probability distribution is also called the Gaussian distribution. It is symmetric, bell-shaped and characterized by its mean mu and standard deviation sigma. The highest point of the distribution is located at the mean and its width is specified by the standard deviation. Both mu and sigma are called parameters of the distribution. The cumulative normal probability distribution has a sigmoidal shape where the mean is given at a probability value of 0.5 and the sigma determines the steepness of the curve. The shorthand for stating that a random variable x has a normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma is this. And this is the full equation describing the probability density of such a variable. It is a magnificent equation, not because it may seem rather complex at first sight, and as far as I'm concerned also not because it contains three important mathematical constants, pi, e and the square root of 2, but it is special because the equation connects the statistical realm to the material world. The equation describes how particles distribute themselves by a process called diffusion. If you release a diffusion compound, for instance sugar, in a cup of tea, then the concentration of the sugar will be distributed according to this equation. And this applies not just to fluids, but also, for instance, to particles, in the atmosphere, traffic in the street and information in society. At the same time, the Gaussian distribution is encountered frequently because it is the distribution that you get if the effects or outcomes of independent random processes are combined, according to the central limit theorem. However, let's not get carried away. I'll try to explain the equation by taking it apart. So, this equation gives the probability density of a random variable x. The function is a kind of exponential function, with a constant in front and a part in the exponent, which contains small x, the value that the random variable may take. As you see in this part of the equation, the mean is subtracted from x and it is divided by sigma. This is in fact the calculation of the z-score, so the values of the random variable are standardized before they enter the rest of the equation. Now let's focus on the constant in front of e. The exponential function without the constant has a surface under the curve that is changing with the value of sigma, but when multiplied with this constant it has a value of exactly 1. The value of the constant is in fact the height at the top of the curve, this is the x equal to mu. A somewhat counterintuitive property of the normal probability density is that it approaches zero for very large negative or positive values of x, but will never actually be zero. This leads to the fact that the values a random variable can take will stretch from minus to plus infinity. All these values are possible outcomes, albeit with very small probability, but still the sum of all probabilities will be one. To finalize, let's go back to the two parameters, mu and sigma, which determine the location and shape of the normal curve completely. Here you see the probability distribution of time spent traveling from home to work on a weekday for men in Western Europe. On average, the travel time is 30 minutes, with a standard deviation of 6 minutes. And this is the curve for women in the same countries, with a smaller mean but a larger standard deviation. What you see is that the peak gets lower if the curve gets wider. Another property of the curve is that the values and the units at the y-axis change if you change the units along the x-axis. For example, if you'd express the time in hours instead of minutes, the probability density values change from a probability per minute to a probability per hour. Hence, these increase 60-fold. Let me summarize what I've explained in this video. The normal or Gaussian probability density function is a symmetric, bell-shaped curve, and its corresponding cumulative function has a sigmoidal shape. 
the location and shape are fully described by two parameters, the mean and standard deviation. The mean determines the center of the curve, the standard deviation determines its width. The wider the curve, the lower its peak by necessity, because the surface under the curve always equals 1. This is the shorthand notation to state that a variable x is normally distributed with a mean of 63 and a standard deviation of 12. And this is the equation of the normal distribution in which you can identify the value of the random variable x and the two parameters, the mean and standard deviation. The equation is not only describing a probability distribution, it is also describing the outcome of many processes in the material world, where some form of diffusion is important.